welcome back to my channel. I'm Aggie and I'm a first year engineering student at Jesus College Cambridge. This is my first impressions video. I'm going to be talking about the engineering course so far, my life at Cambridge including food, accommodation, uh, friends, societies and stuff like that. So keep watching and I hope you enjoy. It's been a hectic six weeks at Cambridge now. Every week is filled with lectures and labs and supervisions, which I'll talk more about later. And it's all really just passing a blur. At first I thought time would be passing really slowly and it was uh, for about two weeks because I was still settling in. But now that I'm fully adapted to the cycle of lectures, labs and supervisions, I think time has really passed quite quickly and it's two weeks to the Christmas holiday. I'd say I am looking forward to the holiday but I'm also going to miss this place while I'm back home because of all the experiences I've had and all the friends I've made here. First I'm going to talk about the engineering course. I should say that engineering here at Cambridge I've only done you know the first bit of part 1a and I don't have an overview of the whole degree but I can say so far that it's been it's been a jump from A level. What I learned in A level physics and mathematics here are kind of just expected knowledge. So you are expected to know what you learned in A level because you need to apply it in the things you're learning now. So um, in part 1a we will do four exam papers. We have mechanics, we have structures and materials, we have electronics and circuits, and then the fourth paper is mathematics and computing. Now for me, I have never programmed before. Uh, the only kind of remotely related to programming thing I did was uh, Lego Mindstorms and that didn't use any programming languages. Now we're learning Python and it is quite, um, that there's, there's a learning curve uh, associated with programming and you just have to get over it and once you understand it you're like, yes! But it does take, it does take time. For mathematics, I think, um, because I did further math, for this term I'm finding the stuff relatively okay. I wouldn't say easy, but it's, you know, you can use the stuff that we learned in FP2 and FP3 and that kind of makes me glad that I made myself do FP3. For mechanics and electrical and structures, the stuff is completely new. It's completely new topics. Uh, we're talking about uh, different coordinate systems in mechanics and uh, forces and like bending moments and I'd never learned that before in A-level. So it's all quite interesting but it takes some getting used to and also we get worksheets and doing them just makes you realise how much you don't know and you have to constantly go back to your lecture notes and revise them and try and understand it so you can do the questions. At Cambridge we have what's called supervisions. In Oxford they're known as tutorials but you know who cares about Oxford. Supervisions, supervisions. These are one hour sessions held in like a small room. It's a one to two ratio, so you have one supervisor to two students. And um, it's a session for you to ask questions, to go through the worksheets that you get, which are called examples papers, but you know, um, I, I just call them worksheets because it's shorter. Uh, so any problems you have with the worksheets, you're supposed to ask, and if you have no problems, um, the supervisors will give you extra questions to do or ask you, you know, do you know why this happens, uh, just to test your understanding of the knowledge. I think uh, compared to other universities, the supervision system is quite unique to Cambridge because in other unis you'd have, you know, lectures and maybe like sort of smaller group classes, but not one to two, and I think it's um, it really gives you an opportunity to learn more um, and learn more in depth, so that's quite good. In terms of my schedule, I'd say I have around 10 lectures a week and 
two lab sessions and maybe three supervisions on average and just an average figure because it changes from week to week and sometimes you have two lab sessions in one day which is really intense. We have these drawing labs and because I took AS art I was kind of expecting it to be well, easier for me but it has, it has nothing to do with sketching or thing it's just so far we've been doing projections and it's really confusing and even for me I'm a highly visual person it just doesn't work out on paper so that that is one thing I'm trying to and that is one thing I'm struggling with but I mean everyone's in the same boat all the engineers are doing the exact same thing so it's good because I have other people who don't know what they're doing as well <laughs> good in terms of things other than academic life I really enjoyed the society's fair where I got free pizza and just signed up to basically everything. I kind of settled down into three societies. I kind of have to limit myself because I don't have time to do so many interesting things. I'm in the Cambridge University Wind Orchestra and I play percussion and it's quite fun. And then I have Jesus Singers which is a kind of um, a cappella choir group thing in college which is good because I don't have to cycle all the way to rehearsals. I'm also in the Green Society, that's a new society in college and we just aim to promote awareness about environmentally friendly issues and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's all really fun and it just gives you a kind of um, break from all the hard academic stuff. Your life in Cambridge, if you study here, will largely depend on what college you're in. I'm at Jesus College and I think it's one of the best. I'm trying not to be biased here, but I think it's one of the best because it has a really good welfare system. You can never have you can never have too much support with your life. And here you just feel really supported because everyone here is so nice and, and friendly and open with everything. For food, they have a cafeteria here in college. They serve lunch and dinner every day. And on Saturdays, they have brunch, which basically just means full English breakfast, but served later in the day than you would normally eat breakfast. So they call it brunch. There's also formals, which are a kind of pricier um, dinners, and you're required to wear gowns for those. I'm still kind of getting used to this gown thing because you know what if you get food in your gown but um, everyone just seems to do it so you know you have to wear a gown so I wear a gown. Uh, formals are really nice because um, it's a more kind of um, nice setting than the cafeteria. It's, in, it's served in the same hall and it's cooked by the same kitchen but everything's just laid out really nicely and you have nice cutlery and it's always really fun and I've been to formals at two other colleges and that's been great so far. I also cook in college because we have quite a large kitchen and I've made like fried rice and noodles and stuff like that and it's, um, most of the time I cook with my neighbour who I'm college married <laughs> well, I'm college married to. And yeah, Jesus is quite convenient for that because we have all the facilities you could want to cook, whatever. The only thing we don't have is an oven, but then I don't really bake, so, you know, not a big deal. Accommodation! Accommodation is also dictated by which college you live in because they will essentially rent you the room you're living in. My room is really nice, it's really big, it has a balcony and it's en suite, and laundry in Jesus College is absolutely Free. This is why, unlike some of my other friends in other colleges, I never complain about my room because there is nothing to complain about. I probably couldn't tell you the standard of accommodation in other colleges because I haven't lived there, but so far from what I've heard, Jesus has one of the best, you know, room systems. Shopping. 
this is always a really touchy subject with me because while I'm really glad with the selection of shops here, the shops close really early, like 6pm. It's like, come on guys, just don't close so early. I don't know why they close so early. Because back home they, you know, in shopping malls they would open till 10, 11. Supermarkets would open till 11, definitely. Here, the shop I visit the most frequently is Sainsbury's because I love food and I need food and I always go buy food. And it's quite well stocked and it's quite near my college so I just walk for about 8 minutes and I'm at Sainsbury's. There are also lots of clothing shops and everything is kind of concentrated in the city centre and it's all very convenient. For me, Jesus College is very convenient because it is kind of nestled in between two shopping centres. There's the you know, Grand Arcade and then there's, um, what's the other one called? The Grafton, yes. It's near the Grafton and the Grand Arcade. So some of the shops you can't find there, you can go to the other one. And some of the restaurants you can't find there, you can go to the other one. So it's all very convenient and they're all just kind of eight, ten minutes walk away. I got myself a bicycle because everyone cycles in Cambridge. Really, you can't live without a bicycle here, I think. I cycle to the Department of Engineering every morning for lectures and I cycle back in the afternoon. Sometimes I have to cycle at night and that is kind of scary because Cambridge is not known for its night light infrastructure. Yeah, it's quite dark at night. But um, I always make sure there are other people on the road. So when I cycle and if I like trip and fall, I'm not going to run into serious trouble because there'll be some other person to help. In terms of social life, I think it all really, social life, it just depends on what kind of friends you have. I've met really nice people in my staircase. We call we call our apartment blocks staircases. Yeah, people here are just so nice and they're really willing to help and whenever one person runs out of milk, another person will be like, yeah, you can use some of mine. And we all just kind of respect each other's boundaries and help each other out. So very, very nice people in Jesus College. I also have friends in engineering who are not in Jesus College and we say hi in lectures and labs and we help each other out with drawing because <laughs> nobody has no idea what's going on in drawing. So it's all very good, everyone's really nice. I think there's really no, none of those, you know, stereotypical Oxbridge people. N nobody snobby here. I don't know where the stereotype came from because I was expecting, not a lot, but I was expecting a few, but I have not met any yet uh, so far and you know, even if you meet people like that, it's not like statistically more than that you would meet outside of Cambridge. So I think it's all very nice and this place is really worth considering if you are applying for uni and you have good grades because the welfare system's good, the food's good, the accommodation is good if you are in Jesus. The support's good, teaching's good, friends are nice, people are nice convenient everywhere, just apply to Cambridge. <laughs> that was a quick summary of my time spent here in Cambridge so far. It's only been six weeks and who knows, maybe next week I'll decide I hate this place because the people are horrible and the teaching is really bad and I hate the food. But I think I'm going to enjoy my four years here. I look forward to making many more videos about my daily life in Cambridge. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.